Oh guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to overclock your Radeon RX 5600 XT. It's pretty much easy. You can even undervolt it to consume less power while having higher clocks. So my particular card right here is the Radeon RX 5600 XT, but this method is also applicable to your 5600 XT cards. So here we go can also overclock from the MSI afterburner but to get some extra options and for extra tweakings you might head for your Radeon software which is built in when you in install your driver so how do we head there first you know right click your desktop and click on your Radeon software in the Radeon software so this is the home tab you're gonna go to the performance tab so as you can see this is the metrics right here to monitor your GPUs, status, temperatures, current clock speed, power consumption and you know, you, all that. So you're going to head to tuning. So it's already set to manual. So by default you're already going to see it's set to the automatic which is just like this. So in order for you to tune it manually you're going to enable manual. But as you can see, there are also auto tuning profiles under here. You know, want to overclock your VRAM, overclock GPU, undervolt GPU. Uh, those has no quite difference if you use your manual mode. And uh, if you use manual mode, you can have a bit of a freedom. What do you choose? So, you head for manual. But first of all, you're gonna you're gonna enable. All the disabled settings here. GPU tuning, uh, VRM tuning, fan tuning, and power tuning right here. So we're gonna amp up some frequencies. Advanced control here. So we're gonna leave the voltage alone. Since we're not under clock, I mean under volting. Gonna leave that alone. So, I'm gonna get to the frequency by clicking this fine tuning controls. So, by default, this is running on 1780 megahertz and 964 megahertz on the voltage right now. Currently on stock. I mean, it's tweaks uh, the P3, which this is the this is the one you're gonna be running most of the time when you're playing so we're gonna we're not gonna touch the P2 and P1 in here we can amp it up to let's say uh, 1780 by default so to a different overclock compared to the other variants of the RX 5600 XT so it's very little headroom for us to overclock we might, we might get some unnoticeably results because it's this variant is already overclocked so we're just, just gonna try you can hit those differences and I said it's 1800 <laughs> no, it's default to 801 and let's go to the VRAM tuning click advanced control enable that shit and default to 1750 megahertz so what you can do here is this is the overlocking options for your VRAM or video memory I'm gonna amp it up to probably the safe safe zone on overclocking your VRAM to not heat it up not uh, potentially damaging your VRAM chips so we're gonna uh, hit uh, 1800 you can always add up some frequencies and still until your results get solid and you don't get some crashes some black screens so we're gonna leave it up to 1800 and let's head up to fan tuning since we're overclocking, you don't need that zero RPM option. We're gonna go 
and enable the fan speed. Here's the fan curve itself. We're not gonna touch that. So just gonna leave it there. But you need to disable that. Need to disable the zero RPM. Yep. And set your maximum fan speed. So my particular card doesn't doesn't get too much heat. Doesn't get too too hot. I'm gonna set it to the maximum fan speed of uh, 50. Let's say 50. Right there. Sweet spot. No, not so loud. Your GPU die doesn't heat up so much. And lastly, uh, I'm gonna hit the power limit. Just set it to zero. I'm gonna put 20 for the maximum value. Oh, you're, you can also. Yep, if you set it to zero, it's back to zero, like that. You can also drag it to the maximum, which is 20 also. So either way, it's good. So if you want to undervolt it, you can always... Uh, reduce the voltage by, all, by 10. Apply it, play some games for just like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. If it don't crash, maybe that means you're undervolt is successful but your overclock is pretty much pretty much gonna work so the voltage since we're overclocking we're gonna add some juice out of it Let's say uh, 990 and go hit apply and there it goes anyway guys um, I'm gonna save the profile of this and I'm gonna upload it you're gonna find it in the link in the description and you can enjoy it